Here I am at James Joyce Irish Bar, where we have the largest selection of Irish whiskies in Taiwan. Today, I'm going to visit the Whiskey Taste Exhibition in Taiwan. This is a very rare Irish whiskey. It's Middleton Barry Crockett Special Edition and matured in bourbon cask. I wonder will I taste any rare whiskies like this at the, the Whiskey Taste Exhibition. surrounded by so many young people so I can't believe that whiskey is being liked but by, by all the young people girls and boys and everybody likes the whiskey. Taiwanese love whiskey very much a lot of people love to drink some scotch whiskey but now a lot of uh, young people they want to try something different so I think now a uh, bourbon whiskey is very hot in uh, young whiskey lovers I'm a big whiskey drinker, you know. I drink every kind of whiskey. I'm a drinker and I love whiskey like from even when I now like over 18 years old, I start to just jump in this world and I start to drink whiskey and I think oh my god, that's all I want for my whole life. I noticed that there's a lot of young people coming here. Yes, um, it's from 25 to 45. It's our main target. Makmura is the first ever whiskey distillery from Sweden and it was started in 1999 so it's quite young and what is unique about it is that all the ingredients are from Sweden so the barley with a very is quite sweet compared to maybe some more famous whiskey distilleries and then one of the most famous quality unique quality is our cask we do Swedish oak cask and the Swedish oak uh, because of the climate and also because we don't cut it down until it's 200 years old, gives a certain sturdiness to it and it gives a bit of a spicy character in our whiskey. So this whiskey is called green tea. So this is a collaboration with a Japanese green tea producer where we use their green tea and put it into our cask and then later put back our whiskey into it. Very unique in taste. You get a spicy flavor of it. Uh, the green tea is quite an interesting idea. <laughs> Why did you add the green tea? So Makmira's tagline is Explorers in Whiskey and every year they like to do a new limited edition. So they always looking for new ways and they always our whiskey master blender, she always been very fond of green tea. So she really wanted to do this. Is this the first ever green tea being used in whiskey? As far as I know, or anybody at Makmer knows, this is the first ever green tea whiskey. The only other way I know from distillery process using green tea is the gunpowder gin produced in Ireland. Yes. It's also produced with green tea. But I wish you great success with your, with your product. Uh, it's you. quite unique. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to try some beautiful Waterford whiskies. Uh, there are so many different types of whiskey that Waterford produce actually because uh, Waterford is the whiskey distillery uh, although it's located in Ireland but it is not the triple the, uh, distilled uh, Irish whiskey it is actually a double distilled Irish whiskey and it's talking about terroir yeah, the terroir uh, in, inside the whiskey so actually uh, now uh, there are two whiskey in my hand they are all from single farm yeah so this is one single farm this is another one single farm so you can really taste the terroir, the flavor inside every single farm. For until uh, now, uh, Waterford already uh, used uh, uh, over 90 different single farms. Yeah, which means in the future we may be able to taste uh, 90 different whiskey. You maybe heard uh, one particular detail. It's double distilled, not triple distilled. Uh, the uniqueness of Irish whiskeys is a triple distillation. And, uh, Waterford is unique, and so yeah. far that's the only double distilled. Yeah. It's quite spicy. You know that it's not triple distilled, it's double distilled. Mm, yeah. You get a unique type of taste developing after a while. Quite interesting taste. The second whiskey is called uh, Benno Island. Uh, the uh, name of this farm is called Benno Island. It is a coastal farm, actually, so very close to the sea. Yeah, and uh, you can, uh, because the, uh, the component of this soil uh, attribute the flavor of flo a floral flavor and a fruity flavor into the whiskey. So very, much, very, very much different from Bereki Kavan. Okay. Just try it. Yeah. 
different to whiskey number one. Yep. It's more spicy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there's a fruity flavor yes, to it. Yes, yes, yes. And I can also taste in the far background a little bit of peat. Yeah. So it's quite a nice whiskey. I think uh, this is the maybe the thicker, second time or third time I drink Irish whiskey. And the barrel is different from sherry and American oak. It's the aroma is very special. Taiwan beer is the nation's favorite. Twelve years ago, Taiwan beer introduced a distillery called Omar, who are producing a wide range of whiskies. I'm here with Chang Yen and Chang Yen. What do you uh, make Omar whisky so special? Uh, Taiwan's Taiwan special the taste the and the smell in Taiwan. So uh, we want to make the uh, about the Taiwan whiskey, the real Taiwan whiskey. Uh, it has uh, some uh, Taiwan special like a fruit, uh, like a flower smell. So it's a very uh, hard and very strong body. What type of cast do you use? Lychee. Lychee. Lychee Lichi casting. Yeah, lychee casting. This is, this is something which is special. Lychee casting is being used by Omar. Is it the only which, one in the world? Yeah. And this is very, very, very unique. Uh, whiskey being produced in a lychee flavored cast barrel. And to give the lychee uh, uh, flavors into into the whiskey. Oh, I'm dying to try to taste that whiskey. I love lychees. And this whiskey uh, gives you a very spicy initial flavor, which stays in your mouth for a long time. But in the background, the lychee flavor develops. And the lychee flavor really goes into the back of your tongue. It is an unusual, very unusual type of flavor of a whiskey. Now, uh, the main whiskey is spicy. It's, uh, it's a little bit like Scottish whiskey, it's normal. But the lychee makes it unique. Uh, fruity, very, very fruity. Yes. In the finish. Yes. Yeah. First taste is the rough spice of a, of a Scottish type of whiskey, but then as the as the flavor develops in your throat, uh, you get uh, the fle- lychee flavor overtaking the original spicy flavor of Scottish whiskey. So it's quite a, quite a unique uh, uh, type of experience. How do you get the lychee flavor into the barrels? We use the lychee liquor in the barrel about one year. Okay. And uh, we put put, put it uh, out right. and uh, uh, get into the four years bourbon cask whiskey. Uh, about and the one year. Okay. One year finish. Yeah. 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 It's quite interesting. Uh, the lychee liquor uh, combined uh, uh, by maturing in the barrel for about a year, and then the lychee is extracted and the whiskey is put into the barrel. And that creates this beautiful Omar whiskey with lychee, uh, lychee flavor. I'm here with Ali, and Ali is uh, representing the Kalagauni uh, distillery from Scotland. So I'm going to try a 13 year old. You get a spicy taste. It's a spicy type of whiskey, unlike other whiskeys I tasted before. It's not too much of a peat in there, but uh, you can taste the double distilled. I'm here with the uh, Koval Company. Koval Company is producing their uh, uh, whiskeys, their bourbon whiskeys, in Chicago. Yeah and uh, they have quite a unique taste for being a bourbon. Our bourbon uh, use uh, 51% corn uh, with 49% millet. Very unique taste. Yep. Unlike, unlike bourbon, uh, my father used to say the bourbon is a soapy taste. <laughs> 
Uh, it tastes like soap, <laughs> uh, but this is anything else but soap. Uh, it has a lovely spice yeah. developing slowly in the back of your tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a very nice smoothness. Uh, it is, in my eyes, the most closest bourbon mm -hmm. to Irish whiskies. Maybe it has something to do with a lot of Irish people living in Chicago. Uh, some people told me uh, the traditional bourbon whiskey is very wild. Yeah, uh, a lot of spicy because they use uh, rye and wheat be the ingredient. But uh, Kovo use millet. Millet is, uh, is uh, very sweet and a little bit sour. So uh, it will be very uh, sweet flavor in this whiskey. Here you really get a very, very smooth taste and not that typical type of bourbon taste. It's certainly uh, a whiskey which is bourbon by name, but Irish through and through <laughs> by whiskey. My first impression is actually I think Cowboy is like a, you know, quite different bourbon from the bur other bourbon I tasted before. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, I really, really like the, the texture of this whiskey. Do you think it's bourbon? If, if you put me on a blind test, I would never think it's bourbon. It's like very different from the other bourbons, I think, but it's much better. Because for me, bourbon is like a little bit too punchy. Yeah. Not elegant. Okay. And, yeah, not okay. elegant enough, but this yeah. one is very elegant. It yeah. made me think of like really good. I, I sit it next to the bonfire and drinking some whiskey and feel relaxed. And very elegant. I really love it. I am quite impressed of the different styles of whiskey I uh, taste. Some outstanding type of whiskies, and uh, very surprised that countries like Sweden have moved into whiskey. The whiskey taste will be held every year. Next year, probably there will be two different kind of exhibition. One still with the whiskey taste, another one I have to keep it a secret. Taiwan is one of the biggest whiskey importers in the world and I can now understand why.